S993 Boxing, I'm back with a quick video. Now I want to kind of respond to Shady Slim and what he said about Floyd Mayweather Jr. I'm not no Floyd Mayweather fanboy. So you can't uh, claim that I'm, you know, I'm biased or whatnot. See, I've criticised Floyd Mayweather a little bit. I've also gave him credit. I'm not really biased on none of these fighters, man. I, I, there may be fighters that I like, but when it comes to giving my opinion on the situation, or if I think it's, it's fucked up or not, then um i i say like i think it is with every fighter i've criticized every fighter that i've um given credit to every single fighter so let me get into what he's um said i'm gonna paraphrase he made a sorry he made about two videos i believe maybe more about floyd may with the junior see like there was a way in where he weighed and 160 and floyd may with the junior said at one point I can't wait. I can't even make 160. I can barely make 147. So um, how can I make 160 or something like that? You know, indicating that he can't fight triple G. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. If he he can't fight triple triple G, right? Now he did a little weigh in and he just weighed in over 160. I can't remember by how much, but he weighed in at 160 something. Okay. Keep in mind, Floyd Mayweather hasn't fought since. Um, September, no? It was last year. Wasn't it last year that he fought? I can't remember, to be honest. Floyd Mayweather, I think the last time he fought was 20... 2015. Yeah, shit. Oh, sh time went really quick, you know? He just felt like, like maybe a few months ago. Shit. But either way, you have to keep... Like, here's the thing. This is, what, this is how I want to respond to Shady Slim. Why does Floyd Mayweather have to fight Triple G? I don't understand. Floyd Mayweather was campaigning at 147. He can One thing people have to understand is, even if Floyd can make 160, why should he? Triple G, what does it rehydrate up to? I don't think it rehydrates that much higher up, but at the same time, Triple G can move up in weight division. Everyone's moving up in weight division. Amir Khan, Kale Brook, Andre Ward. They're all taking chances moving up in weight divisions. Why is Triple G not asked to move up in weight division and fight someone? Why? Why is it got to be someone else? Why is it got to be Floyd when Floyd has been moving up in weight division? I believe he started at 130, right? So 130 and all the way up to what? He fought for a 154 title. So why does he have to move? Why can't Floyd uh, Triple G move up? It's because biased fans like to see Floyd Mayweather lose and, tri and Triple G win. How about Triple G moves that only then then there's a problem, right? See, and Floyd Mayweather can make 160. Here's the thing: if I got in fighting shape, I'll never be this heavy. I would not fight. People wouldn't fight in uh, their walk around weight. Floyd Mayweather weighed in at 160. You have to keep in mind he had his clothes on and he was, and the the clothes will weigh in some. And also keep in mind he will not be in that exact fighting shape. He will be in good shape. I mean, Floyd Mayweather, I can't imagine him being in too out of shape. He'll be in decent shape. But he won't be in a rip shape. And when he, like, right now, he probably won't be walking around in that rip, rip shape that he normally is when he's weighing at 147. When you're trying to get that fight uh, in that fighting shape, he will not, uh, you'll not be that big. So how can you, Floyd Mayweather weighing at 160 is not a 160 fighter. He's a very small 147 fighter anyway. You look, you compare him with any Danny Garcia, and Danny Garcia just moved up to 147. American and Danny Garcia, these are not even big welterweights, and they're bigger than Floyd. Keith Thurman is bigger than Floyd. Sean Porter is bigger than Floyd. Kell Brook she is definitely bigger than Floyd. All of these guys are bigger than Floyd, guys. And that this is what I'm trying to say, like, just because he weighed in at 160 doesn't mean he's a 160 fighter. When he's trying to go, he when he's putting the miles in, doing the cardio, getting things like that, he will not weigh 160 unless he overeats himself. And if he does, yeah, he will weigh 160, but he will not be in the shape that he is in. I can weigh 200 pounds if I want to. I can weigh 250, whatever, the highest weight class ever, like on any sport. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's 300. I can get myself to 300 pounds, but I won't be in shape. I can get myself to 200 pounds, right? Let's say I can get myself to 250 pounds here, but me weighing at 250 pounds is not the same as 
a person that's naturally bigger weighing 250 pounds. It's not the same. And if I get in my fighting shape, I will not be 250 pounds. I'm not 250 pounds, by the way. Just That's just like me giving an example. How can you expect... Why doesn't why doesn't you, um, Triple G go move up in weight division? If anything, why doesn't he even move down? Why doesn't he kind of like... um, You know, they say if you move down in weight too much in a way that you're not comfortable in, that's kind of... You could drain yourself a bit. But fuck it. When you're moving up, you're taking chances. But when you're moving down, you're taking a little bit of chances. Well, why are you not moving... Why not moving down? Um, Sergey Kovalev, he 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 didn't move up and down, but he um when he, when it comes to fighting Andre Ward, but he took chance by fighting Andre Ward. He, nowadays you you don't even have to fight a uh, uh, one fifty five Canelo. You could have taken that uh, one sixty um, offer that Canelo gave. Initially, you were rejecting Canelo at one fifty five, but now you um, reject him at one sixty. So. Not only that you're willing, not willing to move up to a one-way division. Like, see, Canelo and see Khan and Brooke, they moved up two-way divisions. Right? And they fought, like, punches in those weight divisions. Khan, you could say, moved up just over one-way division. But at the same time, you have to keep in mind that Canelo rehydrates some crazy amount of weight. And it's Canelo. Right? Triple G... Hasn't moved. Kelbrook did the same thing. He moved up two full weight division. That was full one sixty. Yeah, granted, you know, in a way, you have to keep that in mind that the weight division weight dif- difference wasn't that much. But at the same time, yeah, he moved up two weight divisions, and he fought what was known as the, you know, from many many people's opinion as the biggest, the most sorry, the most feared man in boxing. The most feared man in boxing. He went up two-way divisions to fight the most feared man in boxing. And he doesn't even take chances in, own, in his own weight division. But he said, for whatever reason, he took the chance, right? He took the chance. Why doesn't Triple G move up in weight? Why doesn't Triple G move up in weight? I don't understand. So, everyone else can move uh, move up in weight division. And they're getting discredited. American got discredited. Everyone's getting discredited. Andrew Ward, like... um. I thought Kovalev won, but at least he went and took that chance. Kovalev at least took his chance in his own weight division. Triple G is not fighting the biggest fight in his own weight division. He just turned down $50 million against Canelo. Bum fighter Triple G. So that's really man. Triple G needs to, like, that's really my response to Shady Slim. You're talking about Floyd, you want Floyd Mayweather to fight uh, Triple G? This guy who started at 130, right? I believe. At the highest, he started at one thirty. So why is he? Why does? Why, what about Triple G? I don't see Shady Slim, and it's not disrespect or nothing. I'm just wondering how come you don't want? How come I don't see you uh, wanting to see Triple G at a higher weight division? When Andre was was at one sixty eight, why didn't why didn't you um, really want him to move up in weight division? James DeGale is calling him out. Let's see Triple G move up in weight division after this fight. Let's see. Let's see him taking a chance. Triple G has never taken a chance in his career. And yet Floyd Mayweather has to take chances. After he's already taken so many chances. He's already um, nearly in his 40s. Why should he be taking chances anymore? Especially when he's in his 40s. Especially when he's already been taking chances. And especially when he's started at 130. Why? And he maybe he even started in the low weight division. I don't even know, but 130, like he definitely was at 130. So that's really what, like, all I have to say, man. I'm SR93 boxing. Um, uh, let me know what you think. Comment down below and don't forget to subscribe.